Vostok 2018 is described as the biggest Russian military exercise since the Cold War. And Chinese forces are participating for the first time. Hello, I'm Arnold Naidu, and this is The Heat. In a massive display of power, Russia is rolling out 36,000 military tanks, flying 1,000 aircraft and sailing 80 warships in this week's military exercises in eastern Siberia. 300,000 Russian troops are participating along with more than 3,000 Chinese troops. As the drills began, Russian President Vladimir Putin met with Chinese President Xi Jinping at the Eastern Economic Forum in Vladivostok. We begin our coverage with correspondent Lucy Taylor in Moscow. And Lucy, what does Russian President Putin hope to achieve with these war games? Well, they're, they're, they're biggest since 1980, so almost 40 years, and almost certainly intended as a show of strength, as a showing of the size and scale and training and equipment of the Russian military. The Russian military is extremely important to Putin's strategy here in Russia and abroad. He's been modernizing the military. He's been trying to build patriotism as a way of boosting support here. So as well as these military exercises, we've also seen, for example, Vladimir Putin and his defense minister have initiated um, a large youth army recruiting young people into the armed forces. Over the last few years, we have annual military expositions here in Moscow, international army games. So the military are extremely important to what Putin's trying to achieve. He's been to see uh, these exercises happening today. He stood on the main stage and watched some of these drills taking place. And he said that he wants to strengthen the army further. He wants to give them the latest generations of military weapons and equipment. And he wants to start new partnerships with any international countries which are willing to partner Russia. Um, so extremely important for him. He wants to be seen as a military superpower. And perhaps it isn't a coincidence that these military exercises on this scale were timed to coincide with the visit of important world leaders. President Xi, Prime Minister Abe of Japan, Prime Minister Li of South Korea have all been in the Vladivostok region this week, sharing a stage with Putin at the same time as these drills have been taking place. Well, China will be taking part in these exercises as well. What can you tell us about uh, the Chinese involvement? Well, it's a, a very visual symbol, isn't it? President Xi and President Putin sharing a stage at this Eastern Economic Forum in Vladivostok, cooking pancakes together for the cameras, and at the same time, their troops are training together now on the battlefield. This is the biggest joint exercise they've ever done. Uh, they have conducted some training drills before, but never on this scale. The Chinese involvement is a lot smaller than the Russian involvement. There's about 3,000 troops compared to Russia's 300,000. Um, but nonetheless, it is, it is unprecedented, it is um, extremely big. And uh, some people, some analysts have suggested that perhaps China and Mongolia as well had to be invited to join in because these exercises were happening so close to the borders um, in the east of Russia that uh, it would have been seen as a threat if they hadn't been invited themselves. But nonetheless, it is also true that Russia does see this partnership with China as increasingly important. It is growing um, in importance for Russia, not least since 2014 when Russia annexed the Crimea region of Ukraine. And that triggered a wave of uh, Western sanctions against Russia. Uh, Russia's G7 membership uh, was suspended. And ever since then, it's really been looking east and trying to build this partnership with China and with other countries as well. Right, and Lucy, of course, NATO will be monitoring these exercises very closely. But what's the broad message that these drills send to the West? Well, I think it is a signal to NATO and to the U.S. because these drills aren't happening, of course, in isolation. They're happening against a backdrop of deteriorating relations with the U.S., with Europe, with NATO itself. Um, and this is also happening against the backdrop of Syria, for example, where it appears that Russian and Syrian forces are preparing for the last major offensive in Syria. There have been Russian, na Russian naval drills in the Mediterranean off the Syrian coast as well in recent weeks, which NATO expressed its concern about at the time. So Russia very much wanting to send its show of strength um, to the world to be seen as a superpower and to send its signal to NATO, Europe and the US. And I'm not sure that those countries will be feeling nervous at this stage. These are only military exercises, but they will certainly be watching. Thanks, Lucy. That's Lucy Taylor reporting from Moscow.